Hey guys and welcome back to Become a God. This week I'm actually going to play, surprise surprise, the Avengers deck. I, it did work, I think it's actually pretty decent. It does fall short against Red unfortunately, but I actually played a game yesterday on stream and I beat Red with it. There is still hope for this deck. Now I've made a few changes, I've added in Bone Collectors from the suggestions of my stream members saying Bone Collectors would be a good way to cash in on Grand Shakers, could summon a, a Bone Collector around the Slaughter and Shadows. So that seemed like a very good idea to me and it gave me a turn one Collector, which is also very important. I also tried a Yellow variant, that's just a mono yellow Slaughter and Shadows deck, but it didn't quite have the same impact the Runin's Avenger version had. So I've decided now, oh, Wild Avenger, sorry, Runin's Avenger was the original name for the card back in Early Access. So now I've decided you know what, I'm just going to play this on ladder. I'm just going to play this and see how it goes. I, I was performing pretty well yesterday, so let's give it a shot. Let's see if this new version of Green Yellow Avengers can take me up the ladder. All right, guys, into our first match. Let's just throw all this away. Manta Rider, big fan of picking this up in the early game. I don't really mind if I don't have an early creature. If I can get the Bone Collector, that's fantastic. But in most cases, I just want to see a Manta Rider nice and early. And that is a, that is a colored land I do not want to see ever when I play this deck. It's, red is just, it's just brutal. Absolutely brutal. The Grime Shake is the biggest problem. Please, that's interesting. I can just nightmare this now. Soul packed. I'm gonna send this down. I'm gonna send this down the right side so I can just get Theria. Just want to collect and make sure that I have enough resources uh, to just draw cards and play my hand out. Another nightmare. That's pretty pretty good for later. Hello, hello, Altar of Souls. That's exactly what I want to see. Right, we're going to stick the altar here. Let's put our first Slaughter and Shadow down. I'm not expecting to win this matchup, guys. I must be honest, but I will play it out to see if there's any... See if the Bone Collector makes a difference. Uh, this is one of the main reasons we put Bone Collector in the deck. As a way to... Uh... Oh, wait. Wow. wow. I wasn't expecting that. Emperor's Command on my Shadow. So I can just Nightmare this. Make another Shadow and, and pass. And then I, I have two Shadows to play next turn. I'm just gonna scoop there. Oh my goodness. First win of the day as well. Yep. I did play quite late last night when I was streaming. So I was, I was curious to see if I would still get first win of the day. But yes, we beat Red. <laughs> Two nightmares and we were done. Everything was great. But that is not a true reflection of the red matchup. Uh, let's just get into another game and then we'll see if we can continue this win. All right, guys, into our next match. We're going against S of Dawn. Oh my goodness. And we have the Bone Collector to start off with. That's great. So I wonder if S is playing his uh, OTK deck. Now I played against this yesterday against S, and S beat me with it, but I also played against a couple of other players who were piloting something similar, but they didn't have the same success S was having in this. Oh, no, it looks like it's going to be maybe mono green? We'll have to see. Hopefully not red. <laughs> I'll be saying that every game. No red, please. I'll be very happy if I don't have to play any red at all during this episode. I know I've already played against Red, but I don't really count. I don't. I don't count that match. That match was a bit of a blowout, really. Double, double last night with the Manta Rider double collecting. Just a bit too difficult. All right. So I haven't quite given away what I'm playing to S yet because he's seen the Bone Collector and the Forest into Desert does kind of indicate Green Yellow Sack. Which is fine. I, I need the more time I get, the better. The quick, the easier it is for me to set up the slaughter and shadows. But as soon as I play Wild Avenger, he's going to know exactly what's up. So I need to be careful. 
keep my information secret. This is probably, yeah, okay, I've, I was figuring this as much. So this is basically the Beastmaster green deck. I've been seeing uh, some success recently on the ladder. Really don't like this hand. It's not doing anything for me right now. I mean, I can get Wild Avenger down. Yeah, we, we're going to do it. Let's just get Wild Avenger down. I'm pretty confident this will stick around and collect for a while, which is pretty good. Like, if, I, if this collects for six turns, I'm, I'm in the money. This is almost paid. This actually paid for itself very, very soon. So we're in a good position here. Yeah, I think we just pass. So we have a we have a standoff here. We're both at our own orbs, just chilling, making creatures, collect inferior. If I had waited a turn, I could have just played Bone Collector in that slot. I'm a little sad about that. It's gonna be ruining. Ruining is a, gonna be a problem for me, actually. It's not a card I want to kill. That's a very good draw. Absolutely incredible. Double neutral on the horse master can kill it here. Double neutral horse master can kill it here. I don't think this deck runs horse master, to be honest. Can move forest. I need to play this somewhere safe. I think I stick that there. And I don't really want to put it on on this land. I like maybe should have put it here. All right, we got we've got the altar down. Things will start to look pretty good for us. I mean, a slaughter and shadow can kill Rune twice. It can kill the four four variant, and it can kill the six six version that comes down after. So I have ways to deal with Rune in, in the early game, at least. But big oak big oakling creatures could be a problem, especially if there's spiders. But I just could be a very big issue for me. It's gonna destroy my altar. Not a surprise. I'm curious I'm curious on how many Emperor's Command S runs. Because I've seen Alvar's version that was ran in the recent open only played one Emperor's Command. So we're going to see this dash onto this land here. Make it very difficult. I'm just going to double Wind Soldier it to power up these Bone Collectors. Seems pretty good to me. Fire and Golem, that's not a card I want to see. Oh, Manta Rider's pretty good. So I can desert here, I can then double wind soldier. It's gonna be one, two, three power-ups. Pushes this up to a reasonable power level. And then I can just summon Manta Rider on this spot. One. Two. Trying to get, get these bone collectors as big as possible. They're gonna they're gonna really help me uh, stabilize now in the mid game until I find my next altar of souls. And if I can just keep them alive and just keep getting them powered up from uh, S trying to clear my my slaughter and shadows, I should be in a pretty good spot. I'm a little concerned about this ruining. I must I must admit I'm not too keen on it. But if I can pick up 
say, Mistral Guide and, like, an Altar of Souls. I can start sending creatures up there, just dashing them up and applying pressure, but this is going to be a difficult match from the get-go if I don't get that altar early. I'm, you know, Escort ruining early, and I didn't have the altar, and, I've, and then it got removed, so I was put in a pretty bad situation early on. But we'll see. We'll see what happens next. I guess Runin's just gonna come back. Yep, here she is. Hello, hello. How do I do this in a way where I can protect my bone collectors. I could run the 2 2 into Runin, I guess. So I'll give make that a 5 7 and a 7 9. I could then clear out Farian Golem. And I'll get another power up. And then. This, this one can finish off Runin. So I could make a land here, for example. I could, like, neutral, neutral. And then I can move here to make sure the Farian Golem clear. Powers up my Bone Collector. And then I can play Altar of Souls and start getting that going again. I think that's the best, my best line, actually. I don't see much else. Let's get this down as well. Right, does, is there another Emperor's Command? That's what I'm curious about. And right now the the, the Okie Doke, there is another Emperor's Command! Oh man, are you serious ass? Come on, give me a chance dude, come on. Ah, <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> that is the saddest thing, honestly. I just need to start drawing cards. I'm in a, I'm in a position now where I just need to draw cards. I need to find a nightmare, probably, just to be able to nightmare rune in. Gonna dash in front. Yep, and that's gonna retreat. So there's a mistral guide. I'm gonna definitely draw in. There's another bone collector. It's interesting. Can I dash this bone collector in a way where I will be able to get some power ups? I can move this here, move this here, play the guide, dash a bone collector up, Slot and shadow runs in, this runs in, another bone collector gets started. Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. These bone collectors have been pretty good so far. I'm very impressed with them. Here comes Runin. I'm always I'm always one attack away from my bone collector just my, my one bone collector just one shot in Runin. Ah, uh, there's Runin. There's not a lot I can do about it. Maybe I need a tech in a crystal flower or something just to keep it at bay.
So I could double neutral and get double collection off both sides. And then I could use Wind Soldier. But then, then he just resummons Runin and I have a 14-14 to deal with. It's miserable. Nightmare? Nope. Oh, Runin. I mean, I think, I think... <laughs> if Runin wasn't here, we'd have a really good match, I think. But Runin has just blown me out of the water. I just can't do anything about it. I just had to keep killing it. and uh, Maybe I should have just ignored it. But you can't. I, could, I, didn't have, I didn't have the hand to ignore Runin at this point. The reason I've put Bone Collector in front now is because I'm trying to stop the Runin from dying this turn. So it gives me a bit of time, and maybe S will invest all this area elsewhere. Maybe I, I needed to push this Wild Avenger up early. It's hard to say. If you guys have any suggestions, you let me know. Like, I, I probably had to start applying pressure on the Willow. Well, yeah, we, we can try and avoid this Runin for now. But the double Emperor's Command on my Slaughter... If I just had armies and arm... If I had an army of Slaughter and Shadows going, I would still... I think I'd be in a good position. But even after S removed both my altars, if Runin wasn't here, I still think we'd have a good match. I just don't think we have a very good match now. And here, I'm in a position where I want to draw cards. You know what? I'm not doing that. I am just moving this Wild Avenger up. I'm coming for you, Willow. Because we can Wind Soldier this to get off board for a turn. Give us some time. Is that Yakapult? It's probably Yakapult. Yeah. I can actually start hitting my Wild Avenger. Alright. Manta Rider. A little late, unfortunately. See, this deck kind of falls apart if you can answer the altar of souls, as you can see. It doesn't it doesn't really stand up. Maybe I dash the Wind Soldier and then I go up. Double Guidance to clear the Yak? Ugh, it's awful. That is absolutely awful. Clear this. This is gonna seem like madness, guys, but I need to do something. I'm definitely not in a position where I can just sit around. Uh, I could go for the. No, we'll, we'll stick the uh, the Manta Rider down here. Oh no 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 no! I don't know. 
That's not what I wanted to do. I thought this had dashed for some reason. I was going to dash it to this position so I could hit up, but I dashed. Oh, I, I've been I've been tilted by the uh, by the runin. Oh, that's pretty good. Ah, Runin's just going to come down now. Yeah, I just forest next to my Wild Avenger play Runin. And I probably don't win this game. <laughs> I can probably just scoop if he plays Runin here. 16, 16. Oh, he's going to play as a blocker. Okay. That make, yeah, that makes more sense. Well, it's got... I did get Runin away from my orb, at least, right? <laughs> Double power ups of the Beastmasters. Number one. Yeah. That's just that's just miserable. That was a miserable game. I guess I know how my opponent felt in the last match, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? I don't know. Nothing I can do against that. So if I don't get Ultra Souls, or my Ultra Souls gets removed in this matchup, I just lose. It's is pretty bad. The Bone Collectors were great, but I couldn't deal with Runin. So yeah, that's another game in the bag. Let's get on to our next one. Alright guys, into our next game. GSG is going to be our opponent. We're going to keep the Manta Rider, and we get Bone Collector to start off with. Now I'm conflicted, because this doesn't quite line up. It lines up better with the, uh, uh, with the Mistral Guide. I'm gonna go for the deserts actually, because I'll, I'm playing against I'm playing against red green. I would imagine. Yeah, red green. So I want if I do get a big slot and shadow army, I can stick a bone collector in the middle of them. Hopefully, that will be enough to make the grand shaker less painful. But we'll have to see. Speaking of Bone Collector, one for my opponent. Alright, Manta Rider down. Nice and durable. Now the nice the, the, the good thing about this matchup is this version of Red Green generally doesn't run Flame Burst or Empress Command. So my Ultra of Souls should stay alive. There's Ground Shaker and Firestorm. They're the big problems for me in this matchup. Oh, Blazing Salamander as well. Let's not forget Blazing Salamander. Lots of ways to clear off my little sh slaughter and shadows. That's why I'm hoping that the Bone Collector will uh, give me give me some insurance. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Uh, my my insurance policy is the Bone Collector for those problems. Oh, it's probably Gemshell Tortoise as well. Very popular, these style of decks now. Just use Yakapult as its win condition and just stick whatever you want in it. Basically, of the of the colored uh, cards. Now, I can Empress Command this. Which I will strongly consider. Empress Command this. Maybe even Forest Behind and get the Bone Collector down. And at least that way I can start. Or I could actually explore forest here. And that way I have a bone collector and double collection. So if this does get cleared out now, I'd like to have that insurance. I have the bone collector's gonna get a power up. And I still keep the uh the little tutu as well. So that could that could double collect for me if I want the the bone collector to start hitting. See a mountain. Collection. Cheeky willow. Blazing salamander. Really sad. 
Very, very sad. Okay. Just gonna kill this now while uh, while it doesn't have any power ups. I don't want my opponent to get a big refund of theory. It also takes the collector off the left hand side, which is pretty good. And currently, these two creatures don't quite challenge the bone collector on its own. So if this tiki caretaker was to move down and it's to move here, I could use the empress command to kill it and then get the power up and then I might reach of both the salamander and the willow. Well, 10 fairy of free cards in hand, anything could happen here. I could get frog tossed. Uh, this could get frog tossed, which would be a little unfortunate. Oh, I messed that up. I missed a collection there, guys. I should have went here and here with the, the wind soldier. So yeah, I missed a fairy. I'd already collected off this well. So a little silly of me. Oh, I have a blazing salamander. Let's take a draw. Right. We're in business. We're in business. That's great. I can collect. I can nightmare this. And then I can Empress Command clear this out. Get an Altar of Souls down. Here, I guess. And then just start sending Slaughter and Shadows up. I can actually dash one up here into this position. And then where my Bone Collector will be, I can uh, take a, I can take a Power absor Absorption uh, when it dies. So I move up. I Empress Command this. I get to clean it out. Nightmare this. Alter of Souls. Soul Pact. Dash that here. This is the dream, guys. This is this is what I want to achieve with the Bone Collector. Uh, just having that, you know, having that uh, wave of Slaughter and Shadows going in. I might Desert here next turn, actually. Move this and then Slaughter and Shadow up this way. Because then I put a double collector on the left hand side. And I've done that a few times in some matchups. Uh, where I've just planted that double collector in place. Going to frog toss on my bone collector. That's really sad. But I can clear it out with the, with the mistral guide at least. But then this gets to move into position where it can challenge. So I'm probably going to have to slaughter and shadow up here first. And then clear this. Oh, Wild Avenger is not bad. She might be a bit better than Slaughter and Shadow this turn. Yeah, let's let's do the Wild Avenger. We'll get Slaughter and Shadow ready, which also increases the life of our Wild Avenger. Always, always keep that in mind as well. Using the altar, if you've got Wild Avengers down, heals them. I had a situation yesterday when I was playing against uh, Green Red, actually, where I had a, I think it was like a 7-2 Wild Avenger in between the wells, and I managed to heal it back up to 5 life just by using Altar of Souls, which is really handy. No! Stay away from it. Keep away. Very nice. I could kill this. But it makes no difference because this will collect anyway. So I am going to draw. Oh, thank you very much. So now I could just kill it anyway. I miss a Feria, but... I'm now starting to apply pressure on the right hand side. We've seen two frog tossers already. That's some premium removal there. 
This vision might not run Ground Sheik, because this vision might not run Firestorm. It's hard to say, really. You can kind of run... Like I said, it's got blue in it, so it's probably running Gem Shell. Will it have room for the... Uh, for the Ground Shakers? I don't know. I'm not sure. Get Manta Rider off to the side there. So I can start uh, gain start gaining fairy on the left hand side because I lost my mystical guide, so I'm not able to fire my slaughter and shadow to the other side of the board. And then I can move here and start applying pressure to this reveler. Alright. Bone collector. Another Salamander. It's going to be able to remove this. Okay, that's that's not too bad because that's a that's a Salamander's not clear night slaughter in shadows, which I'm pretty pretty happy with. Oh, that's a really good draw as well. Excellent. Let's take a draw. Now this Bone Collector can start reaping in these Slaughter and Shadows as they are cleared. My opponent also has a Bone Collector, which is a bit bigger than mine, but... Who knows, maybe I'll pick up a Nightmare or something, I can just Nightmare that out of the way. Ah, uh, Gemshell Tortoise. Okay. No more Blazing Salamanders, at least. Very good for me. Is that another Reveler? That's a Yakapult. Okay. Keep picking up Altars. This is a matchup where I don't really want multiple Altars. Let's take a draw. Soul Drain. Okay. We can clear this out. Just move this up. As you, you could, you're probably noticing as well that I'm using this. I'm not playing the Slaughter and Shadows I've saved up. And the main reason is because if I pick up Radiance, I want as many cards in hand to heal and I want to be as low as possible. I want Radiance to be very, very cheap. And this is probably the best way for me to do it right now. Make sure I have that wide hand for a big Radiance play, and I just slap a 10-10 in front of my opponent. Hopefully that'll be enough uh, to, to win the match. Another Gemshell Tortoise. I know there's another copy of Yakapult, right? Yeah, there it is, that copy of Yakapult. That's a big Wild Avenger. Really want to find that nightmare. Let's draw again. Fantastic. All right, so now I can nightmare this. I can kill. I can nightmare this. I can kill this with a slaughter and shadow. I can finish this off, and then what do I want to do? I guess I continue to just build slaughter and shadows at this point. Can Avenger across? That could be pretty good. Oh no, I don't have the. I'll have my Bone Collector in this position at that point. Okay. It's Nightmare You. So we'll go for the we'll go for the Avenger next turn. We're a little low actually. We're at six life. I'm not expecting flame burst in this deck. 
And I do, I did open myself up to this Yakapult, but I'm hoping to just, uh, you know, continue to move up and get these Slaughter and Shadows to keep poking away. Double neutral, gonna get a Yakapult down here. Yep. Oh, so I picked up another two Yakapults off the, uh... Ah, oh, that's really unfortunate. Picked up more Yakapults. That's really sad, actually. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get a Wild Avenger in this position. We're gonna move back, we'll dash this up. We can then shift these Slaughter and Shadows into position. Ah, I can leave a Slaughter and Shadow here as a protector. Give the Rakoa. He's pretty big. I would like some healing, actually. Like a Radiance? Radiance would be pretty good. Well, Wild Avenger's gonna help, at least. It's gonna keep things in check. Yes! Oh man, I can't believe I won that! I guess he was just out of gaslight. There mustn't be any ground shakers in there. The blazing salamanders are probably my biggest fear. That Wild Avenger is just an absolute pain, right? And I just keep making Slaughter and Shadows. Since I get that Radiance, I think I just win. Because there's no way this deck deals with a 10-10 unless it runs Frogify. But good game. Oh, I, I can't believe I won that. That came out of nowhere. That was a big surprise for me. Not doing too bad at the moment. We're 2-1 with this green, yellow Avengers. The Bone Collectors have been fantastic. So big shout-outs to everyone who watched my stream last night. And, you know, given some suggestions. I think I believe it was uh, the Duke of Prune who actually suggested it, or maybe Beneki. It was one of those two guys. So uh, big shout out to you. Uh, Bone collectors have been fantastic. All right, guys, another match. I am very happy with this performance so far. Bone collector in the early game, fantastic. We can use guidance to to power it up if we're playing against red, so we can give it a bit more durability. So that's very cool. A bit of removal as well to go along with it. Don't. Don't really need to pick up Soul Drain early. It's a card that kind of helps at later on. Yeah, let's get let's get this bone collector down. Mountain? It's a forest. Fantastic. Alright. So I can build a desert now if I want it. Just collect and just relax. Sit back, relax, collect that early feria and be happy. Ugh, Eridan. Okay, so this is probably... Oh, okay, Spirit of Rebirth as well. Very spicy, I like it. I like to have desert here. Yeah, I much I much prefer to have desert on this spot because it's really good for Manta Riders, good for Mistral Guide to launch those uh, Slaughter and Shadows up. Oh, it's green yellow sacrifice of some sort. Interesting. Is that a bone collector? Hmm. Don't like that. Don't like any of this. <laughs> okay, so I could actually Empress Command Soul Drain this first. So let's take a draw. Let's see what we find. Soul Pact. Okay, that worked out all right. It wasn't great. I do need to find... Altar of Souls, ideally, as soon as possible. As soon as I get Altar of Souls down, I'm going to be in a really good position. Goes for a desert.
Maybe this is some sack combo. Maybe this is like a demon wrangler sack combo. It's gonna be a uh, origin fanatic. Oh wow. He's a big boy. I can kill it. I have guidance. Yeah, I can clear it out. It's possible. Gonna have to at this rate. See, Bone Collector's provided me that early game I need. Uh, it's given me, it's allowing me to use what would otherwise be dead cards in my hand in a more proactive way. This is where Bone Collector's just been just so good. It's just such a such a great card for this deck. I would, if I didn't have Bone Collector, what would I be doing right now? I don't know. Like nothing, probably just watching my opponent's forces march towards me. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still not in a great position. It very much depends what I draw next. If I drew like a Manta Rider, if I draw Altar of Souls, any of those type of cards, I'll be okay, but I still need to find them and I still need to be able to play them. And I'm not in a position where I can draw a card and play Manta Rider or the Altar of Souls because I don't have enough deserts. So I really need a good, a good top deck going into the next uh, turn. I mean, Mistral Guide's not too bad. It very much depends what my opponent plays. It's going to be a Demon Wrangler. Okay. So Soul Drain's a good top deck now. Wind Soldier's a good top deck. Uh, Ultra of Souls is a great top deck as well. So we're just going to do that. We're going to back out. Play a Desert over here. Get this Altar down. And then, yep, stick this in front. And hope there's not a Wind Soldier. But even if there is a Wind Soldier, I will gain plus one life. So if this Slaughter and Shadows gets cleared, I'll gain plus one life, and it won't be able to, the Demon Wrangler won't be able to finish it off. And now I'm set up for the Counter Altar of Souls. I've already used two Emperor's commands. Okay, this is now things are starting to get interesting. The Altar of Souls Mirror. What have I done, guys? What have I done to this meta? <laughs> yep. Bone Collector? No, that's just a massive Soul Eater. Okay. Oh, Manta Rider's a good pickup. Sick of draw. Another Altar of Souls. Not that helpful, unfortunately. I mean, I don't really mind if one gets cleared. It's a good way to reduce my radiance. I could actually play this here. Play the Slaughter and Shadows here, then play the Manta Rider. Yeah, okay. Where do I, uh, uh, unless I just stick two Slaughter and Shadows down. Yeah, I think that's fine. And Radiance is starting to get cheaper. I need to pick... I ideally need to find Last Nightmare now, just to, to finish off that Soul Eater. I'm actually considering adding another Last Nightmare. Last Nightmare has been pretty exceptional. Maybe Soul Pack's not needed as much. Soul Pack's been, been decent, to be fair, but I think just packing more removal would really help. This is a control deck. It's kind of like control combo-esque. It's not really like a kill combo, but there's a combo you set up to, you know, win the game, the Altar of Souls, uh, Slaughter and Shadows, all that sort of stuff, the Wild Avengers. So I, I'm relying on doing something specific in order to find my win condition. This is gonna just clear that out, okay. I really hope I find a Wind Soldier. Wind Soldier would be pretty good. If I get two power-ups on my Bone Collector.
I'm, I'm actually really happy to see uh, Slaw and Shadows being played more. It's pretty cool. Like, we, it's cool that we're now in a world where Slaw and Shadows are a thing. And I'm really, really sad with these draws. It's really annoying. Maybe stick Manta Rider down because I want something durable. I guess I could kill this now. Is it greedy not to? I think it's too greedy not to kill it. And then we'll just stick Slaughter and Shadow here. So he can clear my Manta. He can clear my Rider, but it's, it's not too bad because I'll keep the 2-2. Two -two. And the 2-2 will collect some Faria for me. And we can just play like another Manta Rider on the follow-up. Now someone actually suggested Soul Eater as a win condition for this deck. But I think that's a different deck. Let's just Green Yellow, let's just green yellow Sacrifice with Alter of Souls, basically. Whereas this deck's based around the Avengers, the, the Wild Avengers. Slaughter and Shadow. Is that Soul Eater? Yeah, I'm gonna have to top deck Nightmare, I'm gonna lose. Alright, this is it. Hey! GG's. Do I even bother playing this now? I guess. No, I shouldn't have bothered. That was a waste. Yeah, that was an absolute waste. There was no point in playing that. I should have waited. I could double neutral Radiance next turn. But now it's going to make it much harder to do that. Alright. You can now just stick a Slaughter and Shadows in front of my orb. And just clear that out anyway. So yeah, that was really bad. That was a really bad play for me, guys. Because now I can't put my Radiance into position where I can set up a lethal. I really don't want to play a defensive one, I can tell you that. Oh, I messed up big time. That was absolute waste. I could have double neutral. I would have two Faria left over. I'd be able to double neutral. Slow Radiance up here and then I'd be able to Guidance myself back up as well. Ah, oh, misplays, misplays, misplays. So what do I do now? If I desert into Slaughter and Shadow, I just lose to removal. If I draw Soul Drain, I'm still in the game. If I draw Wind Soldier, I'm still in the game as well. But then he just summons a Slaughter and Shadow again in the same position. So I think I just roll the dice and I go for the uh, Slaughter and Shadow in front of my orb and just hope he doesn't have removal. Cause I, I messed up guys, I messed up huge. I could, I think, I'm not sure if I would have won, but I would have been in a much better position than I am now. Is that just top deck removal? You might actually kill my altar. Yeah, I think he's going for the altar, altar clear. Which is a little sad. Oh, it's just lethal with the flash salmon. Ah, oh, I'm very disappointed in myself. I didn't think that last play through. I would have been, oh man, I would have been able to double neutral up here. Radiance here. 
into Guidance to heal me even more. Hit for 10 and just, like, have lethal. I probably would have won that game if I had done that. Well, I'm still learning this deck. It's still kind of a new concept to me. Now, I did play it a long time ago, but it's changed a lot, and I've had to adjust uh, the deck to the current cards versions, because obviously, uh, back then, Wild Avenger was a better win condition. But yeah, that's a little disappointing. Mistakes were made, but we, we learned from our mistakes. Let's get on to our final game. All right, guys, final game. Can I win it? This is a pretty good hand. This is kind of the hands I want to see every game. Desert, desert, desert. Manta Rider feels good, man. Oh, desert, desert, desert. Mistral guy, start firing. <laughs> start firing my uh, slaughtering shadows around the place. What's it gonna be? Hopefully not a mountain. I should have won that last game. I should have won it. <laughs> That's an ambitious statement to make, but I felt like my line would have done it. I think I would have... I think that would have been enough. Unless he had Nightmare in hand. If, you, if you're watching, dude, if you had Nightmare in hand, I wouldn't have won that game, but... Feels bad. Feels bad. Alright. Get the Manta Rider down nice and early. But if I'm playing it just if I'm just playing against mono green, I'm I might just shoot a slot and shadow off into the right first. No, I need I need better lands for that. Let's go for the Manta Rider. Cause then I can stick the slot and I can stick the altar on Yeah, I can stick the altar on a on a forest. Because right now the altar positioning is a bit awkward. Unless I stick it here, which it's not going to work for me. I'm going to dash this back, actually, with the Mistral Guide. Let's just pass. Let's see what my opponent gets up to. I'm hoping there's not an... Actually, an enchant's fine. I, I'm not too bothered about enchant. I just don't want to see, like, uh, another power-up, like, Shamanic Dance or Elderwood Embrace into enchant. That's what I'd be a little sad about. But not enough lands to do that, I believe. Shamanic Dance is two forests, as far as I can remember. So it'd have to be, like, Piper number two into Lake into enchant. Shift and Tide... Gonna go for a retreat. I would imagine. Yeah, I think I'm really happy to stick the uh, slaughter and shadow over here and live in Willow. All right. Yeah. yeah. We're, 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 we're good to do that now. So we can forest... Forest here. Just an area as well. Off you go, my little Slaughter and Shadow. He's the friendliest Slaughter and Shadow of my army. He likes just to harvest Feria. Likes to sw uh, fly across the water. Just not, likes to relax, just likes to take things easy. And I'm happy with him doing it, you know, he's gonna get me some Feria along the way. He's still working. Okay, so that's gonna move up. Which is fine. I can just uh, use the Guidance here to power up my Manta Rider. And then I can finish off the Willow. So I can tower. Oh, maybe there's an enchant. Enchant's actually not that bad because I get to finish it off with a 2-2 on the follow-up. Elderwood Embrace. Elderwood Embrace is a, a little miserable. But I can now just Guidance on my... Yeah, I can just Guidance on the Mistral Guide now. 
And then I could even... Oh, no, wait. There's a shamanic dance. So double Emperor's Command, what where does that get me? That's minus two, minus two, that'll be eight, plus the... Plus this, six, eight. So I would be able to clear it if I had an Etheria, which I currently don't have. <laughs> So maybe I just one Empress Command and just send another alt, send another, another guy off somewhere. Yeah, let's do one command. There's also the Sunken Tower, which could be a problem. Maybe I desert, and then I can shoot this up into this position. It's actually pretty good. And then just take a couple of hits on this guy with the Mistral Guide. <laughs> Interesting matchup, right? Green, blue, enchant versus green, yellow Avengers. Not something you'd see every day, that's for sure. This could be a pretty solid tournament deck because you could play it, if you play it first and you don't run into red, you could have some good matchups. And then you get counterpicked by red on the following, but you're one game ahead. So I'd, I'd even suggest if you're brave enough, giving this a go in a tournament. It might work out. I need to learn more about the deck and what matchups are good. And it also might need to be tweaked in a way where it can fight, at least stand its ground against some of the bad cards like Runin. Like we had a big problem against Runin today. A Crystal Flower could help with that. Or more removal. I think Flower, like one Flower could be good in that position or maybe two Flowers and drop the Soul Pack. So there's still a lot of room for improvement. That is a Siege Engine. That is a siege engine. What on earth? And a sunken tower. I do not like that. Ah. Good taunt it up. But then there's this card to worry about. Maybe I draw for Nightmare. Okay. Ah, so awkward. Maybe I should have actually landed. I should have went forest, power this up, command this, hit, and then put a slaughter in shadow. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna accept the fate of my mistral guide at this point. And we'll we'll just we'll just get one of these down nice nice and early. I might actually just Empress command this now. To protect my double collector here. Cause this guy's doing a good job. Command, commanding that just, like I said, just protects it. And I don't really care about the attack gain on this card. It's going to kill the guide, but I can just... I don't know, I can just continue to uh, play the Slaughter and Shadows. Just keep pushing them up. I can move here. Move this up. Go to Desert here, and then play another Slaughter and Shadow. Oh, there is a sunken tower. Okay. Just gonna move that out of the way. So this can actually move and kill my 
my thing here. So I collect. I can collect. I think I'll take it. I don't see a reason why I shouldn't. At this point, I can shadow. I can. Ex I think I accept the fate of my uh, Ultra Assault here and go for an aggressive shadow so I can chase this down. It's going to be pretty difficult actually to chase it down, but I can kill the... If this decides to move here and kill my souls, I can move this and kill the tower. And then I'll forest here and I'll move this here. And then this is stranded in this position which doesn't get to do much. Three damage at this point I don't really care about. I built a lot more land than I usually would, but it's because I have to navigate around a sunken tower. That, that was my problem. That's why I'm building so many lands. Where is it? Where is it going? What are you up to? Yep, it's gonna. Oh, see, is it gonna go for my shadow now instead? Okay, so my, my Ultra Souls does live for a turn. And then Willows. Ugh. To taunt that up. Feels bad. What a weird game. Oh, it's fine. I've got another one. Let's get a forest down. Let's go for a power up. So I can start working on that. Stick a slaughter and shadows in front of our orb. Yeah, and I think we're in a, a good position here. I could have actually wind soldiered this. I'm, I'm fine. I, I feel like I'm in a very good position. Even if Ultra Souls dies now, I have another one in hand. So it's a pretty good draw, actually. I still haven't won. I'm still not in a position where I can win the game yet. This Wild Avenger is going to cause some trouble. But I am making my opponent's life very difficult. There's a lot of different decisions that can be made here. Could shoot my Slaughter and Shadow. Could shoot my Spottom Slaughter and Shadow. Could shoot my Altar of Souls. There's a lot of different choices. Maybe that's just another Sunken Tower. We're just going to see a Siege Tower just float around the right side. Okay, going for the Aurora. Gets to clear out. Maybe he goes for the kill on the Avenger now. And then, yeah, I'm shifting tower the the engine. Yeah, it's gonna go for an Avenger clear. I wasn't expecting that. I guess it's still in a position where it can kill my altar next turn. Oh, I never suck it down. Are you for real? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, well, I guess. That's actually a pretty clever move because now I can't double win soldier. Well, I can double win soldier this. I think it's worth it at this point. So, yeah, just get rid of it. Finish this off as well. Move this into double collection. You can go for like a bone collector. What a weird game! Such a strange match. I don't even know what's right and what's wrong. I'm just kind of uh, 
Just kind of going with the flow here. I'm quad collecting. I'm in a very good position. I mean, I forget how much value this is giving me. This little guy just flying back and forth. It's pretty good. So I can still clear that with the Bone Collector, at least. Just for a draw. Might see a Willow come down, another Willow. No? Well, you took a while last night, man. Come on, guys. Let's get moving. <laughs> this is this is some of the most satisfying parts of this deck. Just seeing just loads of slaughter and shadows on the board. Well, the six ones dominating. And then me, me living on the edge, that low life, <laughs> which I often do. I'm often on this really tiny bit of life if I'm not playing against red. If I'm playing against red, I'm, I'm far more terrified to do this sort of thing. But if red's not in the equation, I will go down to two life. I do not care. <laughs> He's going to clear a shadow out by looks of things. Not clear my right hand shadow, which is quite nice. I continue the quad collect and draw cards. I have nightmare for the next thing that comes down. That's a problem. Wow, just a pass. Even need any more slot and shadows at this point. I'm not entirely sure what my opponent does to get out of this. Not with this nightmare ready, locked and loaded to kill anything that shows up, anything that's a, a problem. Frog toss is not too bad here, I guess, but why are you killing a bone collector with it? Double neutral. Okay. That's a siege engine. We have a shamanic dance and an enchant. So move here, move here, move here, and there we have it! Positive win rates in Become a God with the mean jank that I built on Will It Work. Feels pretty good. It's, it's really satisfying when a deck you build from scratch. Uh, succeeds. I, you know, this is probably one of the things I enjoy most about card games is building my own decks and just trying to get them to work. You know, I built the Dream Reaver deck recently, which worked out for me. I, I built this deck. This deck's worked out for me as well. It is much harder for me to play decks that I take from the hub because they weren't built by myself. So I don't know exactly why decisions have been made for card choices. Whereas if I build a deck about, around what my knowledge and my experience, I find them much easier to pilot. But yeah, great overall. I'm really happy with how this deck has turned out. That concludes this episode of Become a God using my green yellow Avengers from Will It Work with an adjustment and in those bone collectors, which actually happened to be amazing. And was probably the card the deck needed just to push it a little bit further up the tier list where it can compete with some of the uh, top tier decks. I haven't tried this against something like Yellow Tempo yet. Uh, Green Ale Sacrifice seemed a bit iffy. I haven't played it against any Dream Reaver decks. There's still a few matchups I haven't played against 
Anything red is usually a problem, but I can win depending on the build. Uh, the green red variants will vary. Like some of them will run Grand Shaker, some of them won't. Some of them will run Gemshell Tortoise instead, so go for a tricolor build with a Salamander. So there's a lot of different uh, uses of red cards right now, especially across the dual and tricolor decks. So as long as there's just like three firestorms, three ground shakers, I should be fine. Like I, I think, I think blue, red, gem shell, and mono red combat are probably the hardest matchups for this list. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I hope you guys enjoy seeing the deck again with its adjust adjustments. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, just to keep up to date of when our content goes live. Uh, keep the comments coming in as well. I've been reading them and uh, enjoying your feedback and your thoughts and suggestions on what I produce for this channel, but also the decks I play and the plays I make. So if you have any thoughts, uh, be sure to leave them below and I'll give them a read and uh, yeah, get get discussing. I'm, I'm very curious of what you guys might think I could have done differently in the S of Dawn match. You know, any, any thoughts on that? Be sure to leave them in the d comments below. So until next time, guys, take care and enjoy Green Yellow Avengers.